Hello, friends. Thank you for um, joining us for this party. This is going to be super quick, super painless, and fun. So um, just as the posts come through, just keep refreshing. They usually take about five minutes in between to um, refresh. But it's going to be a quick, painless, fun party. And I just wanted to give you a little heads up as to what these crazy color street nail strips are. They come in a package like this. They are 100% real nail polish. They are not adhesive, glue, stickers, um, vinyl. They are nail polish that has been dried to 95 point magic number percent. And it is completely dry on the top, but underneath it's sticky. And so it will go on your nail and then it'll cure and your nail polish will stay up to um, 10 days on your nails. I have them last a lot longer than that, but um, the glitters last longer than the solids. Um, same with regular nail polish that you get at the store. Solids um, always don't last as long as glitters. So what I um, would say is to double your glitter or your solids to put a strip on and then a day later um, put one on top. That way you have um, a thicker coverage. But these are a base coat um, color, glitter, and top coat for this set. Um, other sets are base coat, color, and top coat. And um, all you need are your hands. You don't need tools. You don't need heat. You don't need any of the fancy things. I have all the fancy things just because I like to get fancy sometimes, but I um, today will show you just how to do this using your fingers. So let's get started. Um, there is a notch on the package, and you can just rip it open, and it's super um, tightly packed in here because you don't want any air in them. Because this is real nail polish, when air starts to hit them, they start to dry out, so that's why they're vacuum sealed in there. You get two sets of strips, you get, um, in your package, you get... An alcohol wipe, this is the most important step. If you do not have an alcohol wipe, just use rubbing alcohol or wash your hands with Dove um, dish deter or Dawn dish detergent to get oils off your fingers. These will not stick if your fingers are oily um, or cold. Think about taking nail polish out of the refrigerator or freezer. It's not going to stick to your nails. You need it to be room temperature. So if you get these in, a mail, in the mail on a cold day, wait till they come to room temperature or even like Set them underneath your leg while um, you get your nails prepped. Push your cuticles back so that um, these do not sit on your cuticles. They will not stick to skin or cuticles, just your nail. You get this cute um, nail file. And if you collect all of these nail files and show me a picture, I will send you a free set. So take your alcohol wipe. I believe there's nine nail files. Um, alcohol pad, you just go over your fingernails really good to get the oils off. And then I also do the pads on my fingers so when I'm touching the strips that there's no oil. So, got the alcohol on. My nails are super long right now. Um, I'm probably gonna have to go and cut them next time I do my nails, which makes me sad. But um, there's a nail to fit every size. This I save for my toenail, because you can do a mani and a pedi out of this. And this I save for my pedi. You can cut it here and here. And then I usually use all but one of these middle guys. I usually don't use this bigger one. So, thumb, and then my nails don't go in order, so I separate them so I can find the best fit. So I'm just going to show you how to do one really quick. Here's your strip. You take the purple film off. I don't know if you can see that. And you're left with this. And you want to take this silver, um, there's a silver tab. And you can, you can touch the back of these too. 
um, take the silver tab off and just throw that away. And then I'm going to go right up against my nail bed, sorry, and side to side, get a really good seal in there, up the middle, up the sides, back and forth, and then I'm just going to take my thumbnail and push it underneath and it perforates it. There you go. Done. Voila. I'll do my other one just so you can see it again. So I set it right above my nail bed, side to side. Oh, and what I did there was I'm taking the second half and putting it over here. That way I have leftovers so I can do my toes. So side to side, up, and then just tuck it underneath my nail and use my fingernail to perforate it. And then off it goes. So do you see this? It's way on my skin. That will not stick. So just take my nail, go up and down, pull it away as I'm doing it, and voila. And then you just fold that underneath, and I will file them after they cure. So two nails done. Done. I'll do another one real quick just so you have an idea. Um, I'll do my middle one because it requires the one that is narrow to wider. Because I don't know if you can see my middle nail is a lot bigger. Get out of the way here. Sorry. Side to side. Always make sure you take that purple clear plastic off the top because you can't get it off after you've applied it to your nails. It sticks to it. Um, look, two beautiful nails. Um, this is called Underground Magic. It is a black and silver ombre. I don't know if you can see this little nub here. I highly suggest taking pictures of your nails when you're done because then you can see like where you need to give some love. And if this um, does get on your cuticle and you realize like three days later, just take a little bit of uh, nail polish remover on a Q-tip and just gently swipe it and then use your finger and you can press it right down. And then you have a beautiful mani. So underground magic, silver glitter ombre. I'm going to do all of my nails. I will take a picture and post the final. Enjoy the rest of the party, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. I love getting to know you guys and meeting you, so have a great day. Bye.